Hey, what's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Mark. Please remember to slash that like button. And I know before you get started, you got commitment issues. I got commitment issues, but I got something that'll remedy all that. So why don't you just annihilate that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell. Also, leave me comments down below. But I think I've talked enough, so let's just jump straight into these videos. Let's go. Jordy's a mega con. It ain't a I admit it, I'm afraid they gon' kill me for this. Probably okay. put me in my grave for the lyrics I spit. Been exposing the truth and all the secrets they cover. And if I die, it was big farmer or government. Ooh, okay. I gotta pause it real quickly. I was not expecting him to come on that quickly. I thought I was about to get like a foundation laid, like like there was gonna be like some like concept or like story behind the video at first but he just automatically just captivated me automatically with his bars like he just came in like like letting me have it like i gotta take that back come on i admit it i'm afraid they gonna kill me for this probably put me in my grave for the lyrics i spit been Ooh. exposing the truth and all the secrets they cover and if i die it was big farmer or government Oh, I like that. And I like how he's sitting there speaking about the industry as well, about basically that they probably are going to kill him for this, for basically him speaking out and having a voice and talking about how the industry is, because that's what it's almost um, almost seeming like where he's getting at, like how the fame can sit there and try to devour you and create you into like this monster. But when you sit there and tell the truth, that's how Hollywood is. It tries to spit you back out and try to bring you back down to size. I love that he's speaking the facts like that. Let's continue. Too much truth in my songs. They go stage a suicide and say I chose to move on. Probably cutting my brakes, so when I tour too long, I'll die in a crash. Say I was driving and drunk. Ooh. The Illuminati real. They're trying to make you dumb, trying to numb you out with pills. Ooh. Trying to make you broke, trying to tell you it's a deal. Processing your food, so now none of it is real. You eat super cool, but you still be getting ill. You working super hard, but you still can't pay the bills. Silencing the visionaries, revising the dictionaries. Now you just can't find the right words to say and express how you feel. Target on my back. I think And I love how he's showcasing his versatility on here, how he went from rapping and then automatically went into tra transitioning into singing. That really showcases an artist's true capabilities. It shows that he's not one dimensional and he's not monolithic as an artist, that he doesn't get complacent in who he is as a person. And he tries to push his limits and pushes himself and strives to be better and do better. I love that about Tom McDonald. And I, it's crazy that this is like my first song reacting to him individually by himself, um, separate from the reaction that I did of his that he um, was featured on with Up Church because he's dope. I like his whole style and everything. And I love that Gucci type of sweatsuit that he got on. That's a, I love that. I want one of those. But I can't afford it. <laughs> So they'll probably try erasing me with urgency, infect me with a sickness and deny me any surgery. Stop me from exposing all the medicine and currency and terrorism. Always been controlling us so perfectly. I'm telling you with certainty. They say it's for security. They monitor our lives like we live in Nazi Germany. They want to migrate you all the people. You don't believe it. Your fingerprint unlocking your phone. Oh, how convenient. They trick you to believe in all the angels and demons and say you'll go to hell if you ever go disappoint Jesus. I got a backbone and a platform and a Ooh, Never Come on. And 
I love how this is like a secret message. I feel like this is like a secret message to his fans. Like, if you find this, please tell the world and don't leave my legacy. Like, um, don't let it go unnoticed. Don't let it go undone. Please let my name live on. I love the whole vibe and message that I'm getting from this. It's like, yeah, the industry is trying to kill who I am, trying to, trying to make me deviate from who I am as a person. But please let Tom McDonald live on and let my music and artistry speak for itself. I love the message behind this. They won't issue me a ticket for a minor misdemeanor They gon' try to lock me up before the moment while I'm here Just let me take a minute to make sure you see it clear Cancer has a cure, they killed Biggie and Pop But they know for sure 9-11 was an inside job They stab dollar bills, with in God we trust Well a single dollar bill, the only thing we got I think they probably think they got us fooled Distort the information in curriculums at school They ain't making you a scholar, they ain't making you a fool They're making you a felon if you choose to break the rules Bad, come on single way to win only option you can choose is to play it with a grin or you play it feeling blue either way the wheel spin you won't ever make a move they gonna kill me for this i get back i think they're coming for my head i know i recognize that then i bet they want to see me dead they're gonna kill me if i leave my room they're gonna kill me if i go too soon you should know i said they would kill me shaking right now wow the cinematic genius behind this the thought process everything about this was dope wow i love this i definitely love this track by tom mcdonald so let's quickly talk about trying to kill me by tom mcdonald i love this track because he's basically speaking from a place on how people will try to silence you like regard like people who are in positions of power will always try to silence you when you try to bring your truth forward and when you try to bring it forward and put it on full display and put it to the front to the foreground to the front and to the to the front of the room when you try to bring all the truth to the front of the room then people sit there and don't know how to handle it like there's 52 cards in a deck but when you go to playing those cards nobody wants to sit there and play anymore and i love that he was sitting there speaking from that experience of basically telling that i'm gonna sit here and tell this truth but yet it might sit there and make me risk make caused me to lose my life like the imagery behind this was so well thought out it was so well planned it was so thoughtful like he did an absolutely phenomenal and amazing job with the concept with this like i almost thought that it wasn't gonna have a storyline because the way he sat there and came so quickly on with the bars but he came with some heavy stuff like some heavy topics and just speaking about government and biggie and tupac and the illuminati and just fame and fortune and how it can bring you back down and just be just like how the industry is just so and corrupt and how our government is so corrupt and i love when artists sit there and take chances like that and they put their necks out on the line to do things like that because a lot of people are so afraid to speak the truth and to let the truth be known but i love that he didn't deviate from that and he didn't shy away from that to speak on those issues and to speak on those topics that was phenomenal i love this i think he did an absolutely 
amazing job tapping into his emotional side, his vulnerable side, and just expressing his heart and putting it on full display for everybody to just sit there to watch and listen. That was incredible. And for my first song of his that I'm reacting to, he did an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal job. Like, I'm like speechless right now because I love everything about it. I love the concept. I love the look. I love the versatility from the vocals. I love the rapping. I, I love the flow changes. I love the punch lines. I love that he was speaking from a place of truth and honesty and raw emotion and vulnerability. I love that. And he's like, if it kills me, it just kills me. But I'm just letting you know that I didn't shy away from who Tom McDonald was. And you have no choice but to respect that because that's what he was and that's what he did. And that was amazing. Hands down, I'm not rating this because I feel like when you come across somebody and they sit there and speak from a place of just like raw passion and emotion, you can't judge that. And he did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. So with that being said, please be safe out there. And please let me know what you thought of Tom McDonald with trying to kill me in the comments below. And with that being said, please remember to stay awesome, be awesome, because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy Mark, and I'm signing off. Deuces. Peace. Call me Megatron. Shorty's a Megacon. It ain't about the race either. It's a marathon.